What is non-HDL cholesterol? Everything you need to know. When it comes to heart health, most people only focus on two familiar markers, LDL cholesterol, bad, and HDL cholesterol, good. However, another marker called non-HDL cholesterol is equally important and even more reliable in assessing heart disease risk. If you're wondering what non-HDL cholesterol is, this guide will explain everything you need. Non-HDL cholesterol includes all bad types of cholesterol, which are the main contributors to atherosclerosis and severe cardiovascular diseases. So, what exactly is non-HDL cholesterol? Why should you care about it, and how can you manage it effectively? Let's find out. What is non-HDL cholesterol? Non-HDL cholesterol is the total amount of cholesterol in the blood minus HDL cholesterol. In other words, it is a marker that includes all types of potentially harmful cholesterol, such as LDL, VLDL, IDL, and other lipoproteins. As a result, non-HDL cholesterol is considered a more comprehensive tool for assessing cardiovascular risk than LDL cholesterol alone. Why should you care about cholesterol non-HDL? Because it provides deeper insights into your heart health, especially if you have high triglycerides or conditions like diabetes or metabolic syndrome. Monitoring and managing non-HDL cholesterol can help you effectively prevent serious cardiovascular complications. Let's dive deeper into this marker and discover how to maintain your non-HDL cholesterol levels within the ideal range to protect your heart health. 2. The difference between non-HDL and LDL cholesterol. When it comes to cholesterol, many people focus solely on LDL, the type often referred to as bad cholesterol. However, LDL cholesterol only measures the amount of cholesterol in a single type of lipoprotein, namely LDL, low-density lipoprotein. In contrast, Non-HDL cholesterol encompasses not just LDL, but other potentially harmful lipoproteins, such as VLDL, very low-density lipoprotein, IDL, intermediate-density lipoprotein, and other lipoproteins. These are all factors linked to atherosclerosis and cardiovascular diseases. Non-HDL cholesterol is considered a more comprehensive and accurate indicator than LDL cholesterol for predicting heart disease risk. This is especially true for individuals with high triglycerides, where LDL alone may not fully reflect the lipid profile in the blood. By measuring non-HDL cholesterol, doctors can understand your cardiovascular risk and develop a more effective health management plan. 3. How to calculate non-HDL cholesterol. Calculating non-HDL cholesterol is simple nothing complicated at all. You only need two numbers, total cholesterol and HDL cholesterol. The formula is super straightforward. Non-HDL cholesterol equals total cholesterol minus HDL cholesterol. Here's an example. If your total cholesterol is 200 mg per deciliter and your HDL cholesterol is 50 mg per deciliter, the calculation would look like this. Non-HDL cholesterol equals 200 minus 50 equals 150 milligrams per deciliter. That's it. This number tells you the amount of bad cholesterol in your blood, including LDL and other harmful lipoproteins that can harm your heart health. It's a significant indicator for assessing cardiovascular risk, and the calculation is so easy that anyone can do it, right? 4. What is the ideal level of non-HDL cholesterol? According to the American Heart Association, AHA, the ideal level of non-HDL cholesterol depends on your overall health condition. For healthy individuals, non-HDL cholesterol should be below 130 mg per deciliter. For high-risk individuals, such as those with heart disease or diabetes, it should be kept below 100 mg per deciliter. If your non-HDL cholesterol high means exceeding these levels, your risk of cardiovascular diseases like atherosclerosis heart attacks, and strokes will increase significantly. Regularly monitoring and maintaining non-HDL cholesterol within the safe range is essential to protecting your heart health. 5. Causes of high non-HDL cholesterol. 
High non-HDL cholesterol often arises from the following key factors. Unhealthy diet. Consuming large amounts of saturated and trans fats, commonly found in fried foods, industrially processed snacks, and sugary treats, can increase non-HDL cholesterol. Overweight or obesity. Excess body fat, particularly around the abdomen, elevates non-HDL cholesterol and heightens the risk of cardiovascular disease. Lack of physical activity. A sedentary lifestyle raises non-HDL cholesterol levels and lowers HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. Underlying health conditions. Disorders like dyslipidemia, diabetes, or metabolic syndrome disrupt cholesterol balance, leading to elevated non-HDL cholesterol. Genetic factors. Some individuals are genetically predisposed to high non-HDL cholesterol, even with a healthy diet and lifestyle. Understanding these causes will help you find effective ways to control non-HDL cholesterol levels and protect your cardiovascular health. 6. How to reduce non-HDL cholesterol. Reducing non-HDL cholesterol is not too complicated. You must make a few lifestyle changes. Here are some simple yet effective ways. Adjust your diet. Eat plenty of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and fatty fish like salmon and mackerel. Limit saturated fats and trans fats found in butter, animal fat, and fried foods. Reduce sugary foods and drinks like candy and soda. Exercise regularly. Brisk walking, jogging, yoga, or cycling for 30 minutes a day, at least 5 days a week, can significantly improve non-HDL cholesterol. Lose weight. Even shedding a few pounds can lead to a significant reduction in non-HDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Use medications if necessary. Statins to reduce LDL and non-HDL cholesterol. Fibrates or niacin to lower triglycerides and increase HDL. Azetamibe to prevent cholesterol absorption from food. A healthy diet, regular exercise, and weight control effectively control non-HDL cholesterol. 7. Non-HDL cholesterol and cardiovascular risk. Regarding cardiovascular risk, non-HDL cholesterol is considered a far more reliable indicator than LDL cholesterol. Atherosclerosis. High non-HDL cholesterol is a primary cause of plaque buildup in the arteries, leading to severe complications such as heart attacks or strokes. High triglycerides. In individuals with elevated triglyceride levels, Non-HDL cholesterol is even more accurate than LDL at assessing cardiovascular risk because it encompasses all bad cholesterol types in the blood. Monitoring and managing non-HDL cholesterol is crucial to preventing cardiovascular diseases and safeguarding health. Start today to protect your heart and enjoy a healthier life.